Let's get the news, boys. I'll make some tea. Mm -hmm. The abs and the juice, boys. Too much for me. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Justin. And today we're returning to Genesis, returning uh, to their album Selling England by the Pound with their song The Battle of Epping Forest, which was released off of their album Selling England by the Pound uh, in 1973. There seems to be like a 50-50 kind of consensus in the community uh, on just how good this song is. Some people seem to really like it. Some people seem to not really like it. So I'm gonna be, it's gonna be interesting to see where I land on the spectrum and we'll see if my thoughts align with yours or if your thoughts align with mine. Who knows? You guys are more than welcome to join me on Twitter. You guys can join me in the comments down below. I hope that you're having a great morning, a fantastic evening and a wonderful afternoon. And uh, let's do it. This is the battle of Epping Forest.
five to four on William Wright. He made his pile on Derby night when Billy was a kid. Walking the streets, the other kids hid, so they did. And now, after working hard in security trade, he's got it made. The shops that need aid are those that haven't paid. Show. Sit me a brick, fresh out of the nick. So cheap all the day. The minute they leave and the visit I pay, does it pay? And his friend, liquid land by name of wine. Women, one's worth things, and I'm breaking the eggs over the box till they got me fried. When I entered the church on stand My employers have changed But the name has remained All began when I went on a tour Hoping to find some furniture Followed a sign saying beautiful chess Led to a lady who showed me her best She was taken by surprise When I quickly closed my eyes So she rang me and quick as hell But the knob Came out on his job To see what the trouble was Louise Is the reverend hard to please? Don't tell me! Perhaps so, if it's not too late We could interest you in our Old-fashioned Staffordshire plate Oh, no, not me I'm a man of repute But the devil caught hold of my soul And a voice called out Shoot! To save my steeple I visited people For this I had gone when I met little John His name came, I understood When the judge said You are a robbing hood He told me his strange foundation Conceived on sight Of the word stop nation He'd had to hide his reputation When poor To salvation from door to door But now With a pin-up guru Every week It was love, peace and truth Incorporated for now we seek He employed me as a car And a mechanic with overall charms His hands were then fit to receive Receive arms That's why we hit the battle Above the crowd 
So the black cat barons toss a coin to settle the score. At the outset of this video, I had said, where am I going to land on this song? Because apparently it's a very 50-50 song with mixed reception. What do you guys think? What side of the coin am I going to land on? Am I going to land on the positive side or on the negative side? Take a guess. Take a, take a, take a shot in the dark. Like it says at the end, the black cat barons toss a coin to settle the score. What will your coin decide? Well, I, all right. <laughs> so you guys already know that this is a first listen. You guys know that, especially as a first listen, this one, this one, there's a lot going on on this one. Okay, so, so don't come at me. But at least like on an initial first listen, here's my thoughts of it. I really, really, really enjoy the instrumental side of it. I don't think there was anything in there instrumentally that I don't like because this song was grooving. And I felt like this was Tony's Phil's and Mike's song. The drumming throughout this song was just first class. And I mean, we expect no less from Phil, but it's so enjoyable to hear Phil being able to like spread his wings and go all out and, and just put in so many different techniques and have such fun with like the structures of everything, uh, mix matching the beats and the way that he just plays is always interesting. That gets me. The bass work from Mike Listen, he's an underrated bassist. I don't, I don't know about you, but to me, he's an underrated bassist. But in this song, the way that the bass just moves throughout all of these sections is just powerful. There's a lot of powerful moments. Um, there's a few moments, at least, where I believe the bass pedal comes in, that big, nice, and round bass that, that in a stadium would just, like, shake you up. I love when that comes out. And then Tony. Tony on the keyboards, on the organ, on piano, on, on all of those, those things. The man knows how to tickle the keys, okay? He knows how to make the piano laugh. Uh, his, his contributions to this song, to me, are probably the most powerful. I think that he is like the standout. Just what he comes up with in this song. There's some moments that sounds would come in and you'd be like, I don't know if that fits. But the way that he works them in, oh, it absolutely fits. And then working with him is Hackett. You guys know that I love Hackett. I love his guitar work. And in here, we get some really nice riffs thrown around. Uh, I believe we get some solos as well. I'd have to listen to it again because, like I said, this was a lot to take in. And I know I'm, like, forgetting stuff or overlooking stuff. But instrumentally, I really enjoyed this song. Now, you guys are going to think that I'm going to say vocally I didn't enjoy this song, which is not true at all. Vocally, I like Peter. Peter's awesome. I like his voice in this song. It matches. I love the way that he plays characters as he has in the past, uh, especially like on Nursery Crime with like Harold the Barrel. That's kind of what this song reminds me a little bit in a sense uh, of like this story that's kind of going on, which to be honest, I, I don't really know what the story's about. Uh, I thought it was about like a gang war or something, but then there's, I don't know, some part with like a church or something going on. I don't know. The story, I got to read into it. But I like the way that Peter chooses to play characters. He plays them so outlandishly, like they're caricatures. But at the same time, it goes by so quick. It's just a nice little fun part uh, of this play that they're putting on. The only thing that I don't like so much, and I'm sorry I keep on scratching my nose. I feel like there's a, a fuzz there or something. But for as much as I like the instrumental part of it, and I really do like the whole song, I would say, I just feel like it's a bit wordy. I wish that there was more space left for the instrumentals because I was enjoying that part so much. I wish that Peter would sit back a second <laughs> at a few points and just kind of like be sidelined sometimes. 
so that I could hear more of the instrumental part because that was kicking me. But uh, sometimes, sometimes it was just too much Peter, okay? You guys know I love Peter, okay? Got nothing against the guy <laughs> or his music. But it was just so many words and so many verses and sentences just like flying at me that I didn't get to like, I don't know, invest myself as much in just the music part of it. Like I said, maybe this is a minor nitpick, maybe upon further listens that like that'll rectify itself or maybe it won't even be an issue, you know, because the music really is good and I do enjoy this song overall. But that, that's, my, that's my criticism. If I had to give it a criticism, if you're twisting my arm and bending it backwards, that's what my criticism is. Uh, it's just a little wordy. I like how this song opens up with this like uh, marching band kind of drum sound from Peter, not Peter, Phil. <laughs> my gosh, don't come at me for that. Uh, I like how it kind of fades in, then kind of fades out. It's nice because this is the opening to side two of the album. So it's like when you flip over the vinyl, you know, you're kind of getting that nice entrance and then all of a sudden it kicks in. And to me, that was like a big surprise. I didn't know where it was going. I thought it was going to have like a softer opening, but no, this was a grand opening. <laughs> the music is fantastic. I love what Tony's doing there in the back with Hackett. Drumming is powerful and snappy and really nicely tempoed. And like I said, I mean, I like how Peter sounds in the song. You know, that's why I didn't want it to really get confused. I do enjoy how Peter sings and sounds within the song and what he does with it. I just wish there was a little less of it so I could like enjoy more instrumental passages. Mm -hmm. I like these little moments by Hackett. Just a little bit of a little, little something, but the da -da 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 -da. is that him tapping? I think that's him tapping. I like that. It's a small inclusion, but it's the details. The chorus is okay. I feel like the chorus is a little thin. I feel like the chorus should be bigger, but it's a nitpick, it's a nitpick. Yeah, this synth by Tony. I like this. And listen to that bass by Mike. Mmm, accented by the drumming. Yeah, come on. That's smooth. Oh, oh, no, of course we're done. <laughs> I know I keep repeating it, but listen, I just really enjoy what they do instrumentally, okay? I love that moment there. It sounds great. I love that synth that uh, Tony chose to play right there. Mm, good. And then we quiet down in this section here where the story seems to kind of change into like a church or something, or at least the setting changes, I'm not sure. But I actually really do enjoy how Peter sounds here. Everything kind of steps back a little bit. Acoustic guitar is now thrown in. And I like this. I like the I like the mysteriousness of this feel right here. Yeah. This, listen to this dark feel that it has. Mm. And see, this is a moment where not only do I love the music, I love that deep bass, the mysteriousness and the darkness of this, this now like, I don't know, this moment that it's in, but I love Peter's delivery there. His quiet, whispery and fast paced delivery. I love that. And I think that that, this moment, this part of the song, to me, musically and vocally stands out a lot. Mm, that guitar work by Hackett, ooh, powered up by the bass, ooh, yes, 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 that, that's good. This, I had gone when I met little John, his name this is so cool. This is probably one of my favorite parts, actually it's probably my favorite part, at least on first listen, of the song. Just the way that everything kind of comes down and uh, I like that, this is cool. And then the song kind of rises back out and comes to its chorus, which, like I said, the chorus is okay. I feel like it comes across a little bit thin, but whatever, that's not a huge deal. I do like where the music is between and around the choruses. The verses are fantastic. Uh, that little moment uh, when they're in the church or whatever, that sounds fantastic. And once again, I'm loving what Tony and Mike are doing here. Oh. Like, listen, all right. Maybe it's just me, but listen, listen behind Peter's vocals and just listen to all the instrumental goodness that's happening because there's so much. The drumming is fantastic and, and poppy and snappy and there's so many details in the drumming alone. Guitar work, I feel like he's a little buried in here, but when he does come out, he like comes out. So yeah, that's where I'm kind of left on the song. I really enjoy the music of it. I wish that there were just a few less verses or spoken in some words. But there's also moments where like, if the vocals weren't there, they would be sorely missed. Uh, the lyrics, I, I really have no idea uh, what they are about. And there's a lot to go through here. Along the forest road, there's hundreds of cars, luxury cars. Each has got its load of convertible bars, cutlery cars, super scars. 
For today is the day when they sort it out, sort it out, because they disagree on a gangland boundary. They disagree on a gangland boundary. And that's what I meant. Like, I think it's like, it's a gang uh, territorial dispute, basically. Um, and then a whole bunch of other stuff happens in between that, uh, like, I'm scrolling and, you know, there's, there's stuff. And then at the end, I like how it says there's no one left alive, must be a draw. So the black cap barons toss a coin to settle the score. So I guess they had their fight, they had their battle, and at the end of the day, they're like, hey, hey let's just flip a coin and figure this out. <laughs> Which is kind of a funny ending to the story after it seems that a lot has happened in the story. And just looking at Wikipedia really quick, it says that Gabriel was inspired by, uh, I guess, some stories of two territorial, two territorial rival gangs in the east end of London that would fight in Epping Forest. And he says he was trying to find out more about the story, but was in, unable to find any more information. So he created his own characters in the song. So taking a little of the realism, taking a little bit of the made up and fake, putting it together, and you got some story here. Anyways, overall, I would say that I enjoyed this song. It really is a lot to take in on a first list for this one. And I'm not 100% sure what side of the coin I land on. I would say that at least the, the, the bar is leaning towards the more positive rather than the negative. Of course, I want to know what you guys thought of the song. You can join me on Twitter. You can join me in the comments down below. I uh, hope that you guys are having a fantastic day, a great morning, a wonderful evening. Whatever time it may be right now, I hope that it's, hope everything is okay. Uh, I will talk to you tomorrow. Thank you so much again. See ya.